But our first night yeah. here. And it had been really still up until maybe midnight. And then the wind picked up and never stopped blowing. The wind wasn't over. How was it? We slept, had some breakfast, and we're now going to go out onto the lake. Yep. And we've just got some information that beyond the island is really muddy. It's muddy. So we're probably going to stick to the edges and see what we can find there. Yep. So let's do it. Susie's going to lead the way and I'm going to follow. And if she sinks in, I'll just turn around and go home. <laughs> All right. Heading on to it. Yeah, we're now heading over to a different island over there. So this lake, Lake Ballard, is also famous for these statues over here. They're dotted all around the lake. Um, they're by Anthony Gormley. He's made like 3D prints of people that live in Menzies, <laughs> the town I went to oh, yesterday, right, yeah. and made these statues and dotted them all around. It's very weird to see. This is in a square, like 10 kilometers, 10 square kilometers he's installed this. And it sounds big, but if you think of how big this lake actually is, it's like 51 kilometers long and 20 kilometers wide. It's huge. like a real explorer. Come over this little island in the middle and now we're back onto the salt lake in a minute. Just behind me Mike's already on it and I think we're gonna go back to our camp and have a bit of a lunch now. Graceful. Mark's come to the rescue. Oh. He's actually seen it happen. <laughs> oh, this is where I fell in. I hurt myself a little bit. See? There. That, that happens when you want to film yourself and don't look. And all I wanted to do was show you where I'm cooking with what view. Bruzan struck again. Alrighty. We just had a little rest. Mark's cooking us a little coffee and I'm gonna fill up this water bottle. We brought ourselves like a massive amount of water, 15 litres, because without it you're pretty stuffed in the desert. We're out now for second explore and it's just us on the lake now, all to ourselves. of it. I don't know if you can see it but it is glistening white now. The sun is almost about to set. Absolutely stunning. It's like you're on the moon or something. 
Alrighty, we're going to spend it, spend the second night here now. And if you wanted to come here, it's actually for free. You pay nothing. You've got a loo and that's it. <laughs> you have to bring your own water, food, firewood, but it's a very cheap sort of little holiday. All right. Well, we're going to cook some dinner in a minute and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers.